RMS Titanic was a British passenger liner that tragically sank in the early hours of April 15, 1912, during its maiden voyage from Southampton, England to New York City. Here is the full story of the Titanic. Construction and Design the construction of the Titanic began in 1909 at the Harland and Wolf shipyard in Belfast, Northern Ireland. It was the largest ship of its time, measuring about 882 feet, 269 meters long and 92 feet, 28 meters wide. The Titanic was considered a marvel of engineering and luxury, featuring extravagant amenities and state-of-the-art facilities. Passenger Accommodations The ship had accommodations for over 2,200 passengers and crew members. It was divided into three classes, first class, second class, and third class. First class passengers enjoyed opulent cabins, lavish dining rooms, a swimming pool, a gymnasium, and other luxurious amenities. Second class passengers had comfortable accommodations and access to a smoking room and library. Third class passengers had simpler quarters but still enjoyed better conditions than on many other ships of the time. Maiden Voyage The Titanic set sail on April 10, 1912, with much fanfare and excitement. Many notable individuals were on board, including businessmen, politicians, and celebrities. The ship made stops at Cherbourg, France, and Queenstown, now Cobb, Ireland, before heading towards its final destination of New York City. Iceberg Collision and Sinking On the night of April 14, 1912, the Titanic received several ice warnings, but the captain, Edward Smith, decided to maintain the ship's speed. At approximately 11.40 pm, the ship struck an iceberg on its starboard side. The iceberg scraped along the ship's hull, causing extensive damage, including multiple compartments being flooded. The Titanic's design, which featured watertight compartments, was initially thought to make the ship unsinkable. However, the collision had caused a significant breach that allowed water to fill multiple compartments. As a result, the Titanic began to slowly sink into the icy waters of the North Atlantic. Evacuation and lifeboats As the severity of the situation became apparent, the crew began evacuating the passengers. However, the Titanic did not have enough lifeboats to accommodate everyone on board, as the regulations at the time only required a certain number based on the ship's tonnage rather than its full capacity. The evacuation process was chaotic and fraught with challenges. The crew attempted to prioritize women and children, but the lack of lifeboats meant that many people were left on board as the ship continued to sink. The lifeboats that were launched were not filled to capacity, further exacerbating the tragedy. Sinking and loss of life At approximately 2.20 am, on April 15, 1912, the Titanic broke apart and sank beneath the waves. The ship's stern rose into the air before plunging downward, leaving thousands of people struggling in the frigid water. Over 1,500 people perished in the disaster, including passengers and crew members. The freezing temperatures of the Atlantic Ocean contributed to the high number of casualties, as many individuals succumbed to hypothermia within minutes. Rescue and Aftermath The nearby RMS Carpathia responded to the Titanic's distress signals and arrived at the scene approximately two hours after the sinking. It rescued the survivors from lifeboats and brought them to New York City. The sinking of the Titanic had a profound impact on maritime safety regulations. The disaster led to significant improvements in shipbuilding standards, such as the requirement for more lifeboats, improved communication systems, and better training for crew members. 
also prompted the establishment of the International Ice Patrol to monitor icebergs in the North Atlantic. The tragic story of the Titanic has captivated the world for over a century, inspiring numerous books, movies, and documentaries that continue to commemorate the lives lost in one of the deadliest maritime disasters in history.